Yeah, yeah. I know what I said about not doing the dog. Wait, what am I talking about again? Oh, yeah. Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. More like Toy Tale. What the f- fuck? Was that the first thing you said when you saw this? I'm going to guess it probably was. I can read your mind. What the fuck indeed, my friend? Why is there more? Were you thirsting for more, thirsting more? Why the fuck hasn't this story just ended already? Gouge away. Here's why. Here's exactly fucking why. I know what I said with Toy Story E4. Oh, it was the end? It was the final chapter? It was meant to end there. And I wish it did. Believe me, believe you me. Believe me. There's a gray hair on my ass now thanks to the stress this shit has caused me. But yet, despite everything, I've got one last story to tell you. I'm down to one last... uh, There we go. You deserve to know. Everyone deserves to know how deep this rabbit hole goes. Even if it goes deeper than anyone could have ever fucking imagined. It's more likely that the Trix rabbit will finally get some cereal. See, things did end with Toy Story E4. Sort of. Pixar finally stopped. But nobody could have predicted what would come afterward. Oh, you see, my little tell-all on Toy Story EU caused Pixar some massive issues. I mean, Pixar clearly already has pretty massive fucking issues considering they created these fucking movies. But you see, reporting on this stuff brought me into contact with some sources on the inside who wanted this crazy-ass nightmare to be over just as much as I do. Well, whoop de frickin' do Apparently, Pixar decided to sell tickets to their own demise, so to speak. According to my sources, actually sold the fucking rights to Toy Story U to a rival studio as a last-ditch attempt to make some... Cha-ching. Bet it was that studio in Brazil that makes Pixar rip-off movies like Ratatouille and Little Cars. Well, I must have fucked up the company bad if they were going to give a fucking rival studio free fucking reign to ruin their name ever further. Granted, the new film had to have Toy Story U in the title, so not to confuse it with the original movies. But did that even fucking matter anymore? The franchise is fucking ruined now. My sources thought Pixar was out of their fucking mind trying to actually sell the rights to this shit. That was until someone purchased them. That's right, that's right, DreamWorks. Fucking DreamWorks bought the rights to Toy Story U and made the nastiest fucking film you'll ever hear about. Ah, This is the story of the impossible epilogue. This is the story of Toy Story U5. The last U... Before you ask, yes, thanks to my source, I have seen Toy Story U5. And I'm going to tell you all about it one last time. For real. I'm going to have a fucking emeraude if I ever have to talk about this shit again after this. The movie opened on Wolfgang Amade... What the fuck? What the fuck? The movie. Oh, fucking shit. Opened on Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? Yes, Mozart himself, the legendary classical composer. He was banging his hands on a piano ridiculously fucking hard. Keys and shit. 
literal shit started flying off the piano everywhere, including a fucking Nokia phone. Tweakle, tweakle, little star! Mozart fucking screamed in the key of F, cream or some shit. We then see Antonio Salieri, Mozart's rival, sticking to the windows like fucking Spider-Man, pressing his face to the glass and yelling, You! Mozart just ignored this and went back to playing the piano, and Salieri eventually left. Suddenly, weird blue light and shit started emerging, glowing from the piano, and... Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, for fuck's sake. Mr. Potato Head exploded out of the fucking top of the piano. Mr. Potato Head said, Is that an MP3 player in your ear? And pulled a fucking MP3 player out of Mozart's ear. I guess it was one of those old magic tricks people do when they're horny. Or something. He then started playing a shitty rap beat off the MP3 player, and he... <sighs> started to rap. Yo, moves up, man! Get a grip on your life! While you're playing here, silly, he's fucking your wife! What the hell? Mozart screamed as he smacked Mr. Potato Head off the piano alongside 8,794 pages of music. The DreamWorks logo then finally appeared, since I guess they own Toy Story U now, but instead of the normal music, there was just some guy leaning incredibly close to his microphone, repeatedly saying, Fuck Disney! Over and over again, like, yeah, Tourette's. This was just ridiculous. Ridic. How things gotten to this point? The scene then changed and we see Woody. Are you tired of this shit, partner? Woody asked. Yes, as a matter of fact, I was incredibly fucking sick of this, you shit! Fucking sucks to be you, partner. What he said is he picked up a newspaper. But all the news headlines said was you. Below it was an article that said, You! You, 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 you. You, 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 you. Woody then picked up the script of a Shakespeare play from who knows fucking where and began to read. Act 1. As shaken as you are, so wan with care, find we a time for fretted peace to pant, and breathe short-winded accents of new you to be commenced in strands afar remote. No more the thirsty entrance of this ew shall daub her lips with their own children's ew. No more shall trenching war channel her ew, nor bruise her ew with the armed hooves of hostile ew. Those opposed eyes, which like the meteors of a troubled ew, all of one nature of one ew bred, did lately meet in the intestine shock and furious clothes of civil ew shall now. In mutual well-beseeming you, march all one way, and be no more opposed against acquaintance, kindred, and allies. The edge of you, like an ill-sheathed knife, no more shall cut his master. Isn't that right, Buzz? Would he said to Buzz Lightyear, who was tied to a fucking chair? What was with this shit? Why was Woody always fucking abusing Buzz? Did Buzz suffer from fucking Stockholm Syndrome? Woody, I'm tired of this ew shit. I don't even understand what it means. Nobody understands what it fucking means, Woody. 
said Buzz. Twinkle, twinkle, little ew. What he said is... The world fucking exploded. Yes, that's right. The entire fucking world exploded, crust and all. Suddenly everything was back to normal again as if it had never happened. Woody, what the fuck just happened? Asked Buzz. Sometimes Buzz acted like the only normal person in a fucking sea of mentally deranged fucking crack addicts on the island of misfit toys. Seriously, the fuck was the ew? Was it a euphemism for Woody's dick or something? Instead of answering, Woody just started dancing to some shitty Maroon 5 remix like the fucking dickish bastard that he was. I don't mind spending every day around the corner fudge is made. Also, I'm pretty sure the whole world exploding thing was taking a jab at Disney World with Woody representing DreamWorks making everything right again. It's just fucking pathetic. DreamWorks really needed to get off their fucking eye horse. So what? They made like two good Shrek films. What's the big fucking deal? The one with Martin Lawrence. Disney and Pixar already made several masterpieces. Like Cars 2. And 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 Cars 2. I'm going to march on the state capitol in a Chewbacca costume. Woody then finally, finally untied Buzz from his chair. Buzz smiled, but his teeth looked like Chuck E. Cheese tickets. And his eyes began to morph into Chuck E. Cheese tokens. What the fuck? That made me want to vomit, quite honestly. Buzz got up and left, but before he could get very far, Woody burst through the fucking wall and said, You. Ah, all right, that was fucking it. I wanted an explanation as to what this you shit was really about. Well... I did not get an explanation, no. What I got instead was some scene with a little kid playing with shark toys in the bath as that annoying-ass baby shark song played, although it sounded like fucking Death Grips was singing it. All of a sudden, the Green Army men come sailing in on a fucking rope to the fucking Soviet Union anthem. Geraldine! the... Fucking hollered! So the kid screamed. Oh. I should mention that my cat Monty McChesterton was nearby, and upon hearing the scream, he puked all over my fucking van sneakers. <sighs> the ones with the little Milo goes to college. Misfits descendant. Misfits no descendants. Descend definitely descendants logo on it. In typical Toy Story EU fashion, I already lost any and all semblance of the fucking plot by this point, if there ever was one. We then see Mr. Potato Head again. What was with this fucking fixation on Mr. Potato Head in these films? Anyway, he was making food, which was a bit off color because potatoes are food, duh, or maybe butt plugs. Whatever. Edible butt plugs. It looked like he was on some cooking show with cameras and everything following him everywhere. I sure hoped it was Rachel Ray because I'd like to fuck her, but no. No, he missed her potato head. It was probably fucking kitchen nightmares. All things considered, this scene wasn't that weird. Mr. Potato Head was giving instructions to the viewer and preparing what looked like some kind of burgers. Although his voice was incredibly strange. Sounds like Dr. Robotnik from the old Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon with the chicken and the driller robot and the monkey. For some reason. Kept rolling his R's like he was fucking Hispanic. And now, Mr. Potato Head began. 
I will shit. Penis. Insert loud fart noise. Suddenly, onion rings burst out of Mr. Potato Head's ass, along with some disgusting disgusting fucking black vegetables coated in a weird liquid that started covering everything. Looked like the fucking Venom symbiote. Mr. Potato Head then whipped out a PC and started hacking the Who on live TV to misreport coronavirus information. Section 230. Oh, shit! Oh, yeah! Said Mr. Potato Head. That was like all he ever fucking said. Mr. Potato Head then proceeded to look into the screen and began to sing to the tune of the fucking Harry Potter theme in the voice of Patrick Starr. The gas that you pass is lethal. Cover that ass, my friend. The gas that you pass kills people. Your paupers leave people dead. Ah, there was a disturbingly loud fart noise and the screen went black. We see Jesse and Buzz sitting, looking out a window as sad piano music plays. I felt sad in my heart from watching this shit. It suddenly occurred to me that I'd never seen Jesse in a Toy Story E.U. movie before. You know, Buzz, says Jesse. That Woody is an abusive, manipulative, gaslighting... Bart shit of a chuck fuck, and you need to skedaddle ski fucking doodle the fickety fuck away from him. What the fuck did Jesse even just say? What was with that made up fucking insults using American male names? Previous Toy Story U films had featured such vernacular as Hank fucking Jim shit. Now this shit. Nah. Buzz sighed. He then fucking belched at the volume of a fucking 2018 Porsche 911 GT3 touring. Music stopped. Scene cut out. If only my heart stopped. This was abruptly interrupted by real-life footage of a fucking vitamin shop exploding to some Ozzy Osbourne song. Oh, my life of being over the top. I don't know why I do it. All I know is I don't want to stop. And see Mr. Pricklepants pulling his fucking spine out the brutal death metal music of screaming. And yes, I know that's a hedgehog or something, but I don't mean those spines. I mean his fucking backbone. Why he was doing this was beyond me. This was also the only appearance of Mr. Prickle Pants because apparently he was too sick in the fucking head for even Toy Story U to feature. Also, do toys even have backbones? We all know Buzz fucking doesn't. The next scene abruptly switched back to live action. It looked like a clip from some Blumhouse horror film. We see a family of four driving a really fucked up sedan down some dilapidated ass dirt road in the middle of bum fuck nowhere. The acting in this scene was shit. Kids weren't even fucking paying attention. One of them was loudly playing Garfield the movie The Game from the Nintendo DS. He should have been given capital punishment for that alone. Family also had those creepy fucking stickers on the side of their van that made it look like the British royal family was in the car. But the king and queen looked like... Oh boy, Barack Obama and Bernie Sanders wearing shitty colonial wigs. What a present. To top off the asinine vibe of this entire scene, the family was listening to... All I want for Christmas is you by Mariah Carey. But the further they drove down the road, the more the music started to distort into some shitty horror version. Yeah, like a new Misfit song would probably do that. Family took a wrong turn into the fakest fucking trees I'd ever seen and drove into some forest that may as well have been broccoli. 
Weird noises and shit started coming from outside of the car as the family braced for the inevitable attack of some monstrous creature. All of a sudden, the... Oh, come on. Really? All right. If you insist, all of a sudden, the fucking blue gold. Seriously? Seriously? Oh, fine. The fucking blue goat puppet from Baby Einstein slammed into the windshield to a fucking rap remix of Sway by Michael Bublé. The family screamed in terror as the fucking yellow duck puppet then smashed through the back window and screamed, Ooh! Angry Mexican voice, Roll! Which was the most vile fucking sound I'd ever heard. I've heard a lot of vile shit in my life. Just to wait until Toy Story, the tenth one. Toy Story U6 porn butt plug woody woody dildo. Then Bard, the fucking green dragon puppet, burst out of the exhaust and yelled, Yo, yo got any of Marlboro cigarettes? For the that means faggot cigarette that means cigarette before the fucking red eared dog puppet came blasting out of a fucking manhole with a fucking block of C four in its mouth. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Attack of the fucking baby Einstein puppets. At this point I was convinced that whoever created Toy Story U in the first place had been deeply traumatized by fucking baby Einstein puppets as a child, and who could blame them? The cow puppet then appeared carrying a fucking noose as two more puppets started pushing a massive fucking guillotine out of the woods to execute the family with, which, again, was fair because of that Garfield game and being played by that kid. Kid playing Garfield on the DS started nervously farting repeatedly until one of the puppets started screaming at him to stop because the woods were starting to smell like a fucking Taco Bell. All of a sudden, no... Oh, boy. What a treat. All of a sudden, Garfield himself appeared holding a plate of nuclear fucking lasagna, which irradiated the puppets and killed them. Garfield then bowed, said, Namast, in a monk-like voice, and disappeared into a cloud of smoke, which, again, if he's going to be like the Garfield the movie quality, that's for the better. The family just started driving again, like none of that had even fucking happened. And the scene changed. W what? What? Really? After this, we see Barbie and Ken enjoying a nice dinner together. Did you say, oh no, just now? Are you just waiting in anticipation for this scene to be interrupted by something horrifying? Well, it wasn't. No, Barbie and Ken just had dinner and talked about life and stuff. I mean, I literally watched them eat their entire meal, which took like half an hour. But other than that, I was pretty nice as far as Toy Story U is concerned. I was aroused. Barbie and Ken were still pretty fucking weird in these movies, but at least they had a stable relationship. Unlike whatever the fuck the abusive friend dynamic Woody and Buzz were going through was, though I will admit that remind me a lot of certain events from when I was young. Anyway, Ken even asked Barbie's permission for something when they saw a birthday cake being carried to some kid's table. Barbie agreed to whatever the fuck it was Ken wanted to do. Then he abruptly burst out of the fucking cake at supersonic fucking speed and yelled, Yo, anyone order a stripper? While throwing his toy clothes off to some shitty... Stripper music. Everyone screamed, and one of the waitstaff picked Ken up and threw him as the music blared. Relax, don't do it, if you want to be doing it. Relax, don't do it, if you want to come. <sighs> really? Really, 
They were just reusing fucking jokes now. Really? Suddenly the song Crawling in My Skin by Lincoln Park began to play as the scene was immediately interrupted by an uncomfortably loud video of number five from the Umbrella Academy pulling his pants down and screaming so he took a fat shit straight down the toilet with such ferocity that it burst back out of the water and all over the walls and ceiling. That's some people's fetish. The shit explosion kept replaying from multiple different camera angles like it was a fucking strike and we sports bowling is a caption five crapping appeared a large impact font like an old school meme number five number five number five more like number two if you ask me hmm. lightning mcfucking Queen then smash through the fucking wall in slow motion to Mozart's Requiem as number five teleported off the toilet and screamed again. The Queen then collided with the toilet, drenching himself in shit. A video game style message telling me I'd unlock shitty McQueen appeared. Was there any way I could relock that? We saw like two seconds of gameplay where someone was using Shitty McQueen and what looked like cars to the video game. But Tokyo Mater yelled, Huroo! The game fucking crashed mercifully. Mm. We then see Woody. When the fuck are we not seeing Woody? We're always fucking seeing Woody. I'm gonna start seeing Woody in my nightmares. That's where I'll be fucking seeing Woody. Suddenly, Buzz burst through the roof and started firing missiles and shit as Yeah by Usher and Lil Jon played. I'd sooner listen to Broken Side. Buzz, you're really starting to become a pain in the fucking ew, said Woody. Enough with this ew shit, Woody, Buzz said. If one more fucking ew passes your fucking toy lips, I will shoot you. Woody just laughed. Don't you mean I will shoot you, partner? He said. And so Buzz unloaded like five fucking rockets straight into Woody's face. Ah, so that's what the number five and the shit explosion were predicting. Letting us in on foreshadowing. Ah, oh, shit. Was Woody dead like I care? Did, did Buzz just fucking kill Woody? We could only hope. Yeah, unsurprisingly, no. Woody wasn't fucking dead. He was holding a fucking Captain America shield to block Buzz's missiles. Except the shield had a big fucking E on it. Looks like I'm Captain E now, partner. Buzz then looked into the screen and said, Fuck Disney. All right, all right, I got it. I got it. I got it. <coughs> I got it. 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 Mm. Mm. I got it already. I did, really. This was made by DreamWorks because they wanted to make a fucking Toy Story movie. And they didn't like Disney, so they put anti-Disney shit in the movie, just like they did in fucking Shrek. Even though Toy Story was also made by Pixar. Hmm. They could have made Buzz say, fuck Pixar, of course, but no. That'd go for the head honcho. Honestly, I'd be kind of offended if I were a Pixar employee. Then again, I when I work, I just go into cash a paycheck. All this work on the original Toy Story movies, and not even a fuck you from DreamWorks in acknowledgement. Damn, that's kind of rough. Oh, I'm going to have to cry. The movie then briefly displayed an image of Mickey Mouse with evil slanted Pac-Man eyes wiping his ass with the Bill of Rights. Again, I got the point, but this was just really fucking excessive. I mean, really fucking excessive. Buzz Lightyear then started twerking his plastic ass and firing missiles out of the secret ass slot. 
this was a nice callback to the original Toy Story U, perhaps? Uh, only real Toy Story U fans remember, if you do pat yourself on the back. Is there even such a thing as Toy Story U fans? They won't actually enjoy this shit! If you do, leave a comment. Woody started breakdancing to Sad by XXX Tentacion as Buzz's missiles flew by before doing several flips through the air and smacking Buzz in the face with a massive brass letter E. This was the last straw for Buzz, who pulled out a comically large spoon and smashed Woody so fucking hard he exploded into into spoon emojis. You could dodge the missiles, Woody, but you couldn't dodge the spoon, Buzz said. Ah. <sighs> Somehow the O's and spoon looked like null sets, but but they looked like O's and odd zeros. Anyway, finally, this sick, demented version of Woody was gone. I I, I knew I knew for sure because I closed captioning on in, in case you were wondering. Ah, oh. phew. Well, that's over. Oh, nope, but suddenly the ground started glowing a really fucking gross shade of bluish green. Seriously, the fuck was this color? Fucking puke! Then Buzz Lightyear's arch nemesis, Zerg, erupted out of the fucking ground, holding a massive staff. You shall not pass! Zerg shouted at Buzz as he slammed his staff into the ground. Zerg then started fucking zoning out. So we're going to go on some demented tangent about how O.J. Simpson was actually responsible for the death of Princess Diana. Okay, seriously, what the fuck? Buzz fucking smashed into Zerg with the force of a fucking train and screamed, Woo! Then Zerg turned around, called Buzz a quote, fucking incel fucking incel and started rapping some fucking quavo song hey boss what is a skeleton's favorite snack zerg asked zerg what the fuck i don't know what is a skeleton's favorite snack buzz asked Spad reaps! Dumbass! zerg screamed as he fucking suplexed buzz Buzz then opened another secret compartment in his ass and started taking some kind of fucking pills, red pills, fittingly, before he suddenly got way stronger. Probably thanks to the pills, which may have been red pill steroids, and fucking smashed Zerg's head in, destroying his stupid ass horns. You knock the shit out, boss! Zerg said as he started clutching his uh, crotch. Zerg, why the fuck are you doing that? Buzz asked. I gotta pee, dude! Seriously! Said Zerg. And so Zerg took a thick purple piss straight off the fucking dresser he and Buzz were fighting on. Dude. Dude, why the fuck is your piss purple? Buzz asked. Because I piss... Lean, 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 lean. Zerg screamed. Apparently whoever made this movie thought I wanted to see Zerg piss in purple drank down the side of someone's fucking dresser. But I didn't, I promise you. I really fucking didn't. That is not my fetish. Buzz then responded by saying, Wow, that sure is something, Zerg. Why, back in Star Command, we call that a piss the shit o tronic fuck a fuck a fuck a hoo hoo ha ha he hoo pissy doodle piss piss punch a hoo. That was fucking it. 
I closed the computer I was watching the film on, picked it up, fucking drop kicked it, that fucking PC went careening through the motherfucking wall into my next door neighbor's apartment, and five apartments down. My friend, you need to get the fuck away from Toy Story EU. Seriously, it's for your own good. Oh, I thought it was done last time, and it should have been. But it wasn't. And now you know. So, just get the fuck away from it. But even so. Even so. Even so, I gotta let you know. You must know. The shocking truth, believe it or not, and that is, you still got a friend of me, partner.